So the other day I made a community post letting people know to drop their hottest, most controversial Dragon Ball Legends takes so that I can react to them in a video. And we did get quite a few of them. We got around like 80 comments, so it should be pretty fun. So let's just hop straight into it. Don't know if this is a controversial take, but I think even with LF Bardock's platinum equipment, he still feels like he won't be in for very long, kind of like Kid Buu and Jiren. Their plats are just too restrictive. Now I do think with, pla uh, with Bardock's platinum, it did actually help him quite a bit, but I do think as well that it really isn't gonna help him that much considering his only team is Saiyans and you would obviously run Super Vegeta over Bardock. And even then, yellow is just not a good color to be in right now uh, with Cooler running around. He's not a Super Saiyan Bardock, he's not a Super Saiyan, but you know, on the Saiyan's team, you're bound to have at least one Super Saiyan unit there, whether it be Ultra Gogeta. Actually, you could just run a Majin Vegeta with Bard Bardock and that could work probably well, but just being a yellow unit itself is not uh, that great. Um, but yeah, I do think LF Bardock, even with his Platinum, although it did help a lot, I don't think it will really it really did that much to him. Revival Gohan is actually goaded and can easily one couple most units post revival. I mean, that's not really a hot take. I feel like a lot of people would agree with that. Revival Gohan, obviously, his value, I believe, has increased quite a bit, especially with, like I said, the release of Cooler. Um, and yeah, he does extremely good damage after revival. I mean, he has some of the highest stats, of course, being a revival unit. So I don't really. Consider that a hot take, to be honest. MUI is going to age better than Cooler and the Droids. Hmm, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. Um, you know, that could potentially make sense. I mean, Cooler can remain relevant because we're always going to have Super Saiyan units. I feel like Super Saiyan units are pretty much the most popular type of tr transformation in the game. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Uh, he could definitely outlast the Droids, potentially. But, I mean, that's not too bad of a take on it. I, I, I might agree with that. Maybe not Cooler. We'll just have to wait and see how he performs after boost. Because MUI Goku, even after the boost, I still do think he's uh, pretty good. He hasn't really been affected that much. It's, I mean, I feel like the quick dash uh, mechanic affected him more than the, the fall off of the boost. Um, but we'll definitely see how Cooler works after the boost. But I do think that... I don't know, that, that's, that's an interesting one. Uh, I might have, I might agree with that, but I'm not too sure yet. Toshi should fix summon chances and bring back the way CC were earned before, because it's just impossible to summon on Ultra as a free to play no matter how, much, no matter how much you grind. I mean, uh, fix the summon chances? How? I don't know what you're talking about. Bring back the way CC were earned. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, and by the way, for those of you who think Toshi actually runs, makes a decision of the game, stop. Don't. You might be trolling or saying it's Toshi, but Toshi doesn't have a say in any of these things. So, uh, other than that, it's impossible to summon Ultra as a free to play. I mean, it's impossible to summon for Ultra regardless if you're free to play or not. That's just how the rates are. Obviously, if you're free to play, you have to save your crystals and use them use them in a safe way. But like, I, I don't know what you mean by fix the summon chances. I mean, they're just not gonna they're not gonna just increase the chance the the rates out of nowhere, right? So it is what it is. Uh, Cooler will receive the LF Cell treatment. People will forget about him during Legends Festival. Okay, Cooler <laughs> received the LF Cell treatment. I see a lot of people actually mention that that Cooler will receive the LF Cell treatment. But the thing with that is LF Cell was made to completely counter out the hybrids. And he had a lot of passives that were linked to him, like, countering hybrids, right? He had, like, I believe an additional 50 or 40%, something around that pretty big chunk of his damage was coming towards him, um, towards hybrids, right? And also, we, we he, his, um, his unique gauge was also very slow to charge up, which they fixed in this in unique equipment. So he has a bunch of other things. Cooler, by the, uh, cooler. The only thing that's relevant right now for him, because there's so many Super Saiyan units, is that 20% extra that he gets against Super Saiyan and then time neutral. But the main reason why Cooler is such a threat is because of his strike luck. And that strike luck isn't going anywhere. So I don't think he's going to age like LF Cell. Um, I think Cooler is going to age pretty well. Maybe his defense might catch up after boost, but we'll have to see it for we'll have to see how that's going to go. Ultra Gojira will stay in the top 5 till next Legends Festival. He's easy to use with Strong Kid. Next Legends Festival. Oh, our... I don't know, I'm guessing you're not talking about this one. Next Legends Festival, that would be insane. I don't think he will, just it wouldn't make sense for them to have a unit be that good for so long. He'll, he'll eventually get power creep, but he's aging pretty well, I'll, I'll say that at least. Green Elf Trunks is better than Dragon Fist in a 1v1 situation. DF will F up Trunks, and, but we talk about longevity in a battle. Trunks is better than Squishy Fist. Um, I think I agree with that. Uh, right now, obviously, Dragon Fist is... 
actually for this one in a 1v1 situation i mean would you really take a 1v1 situation i do think df with a fully built out unique gauge would be better than trunks um but overall you can argue that trunks is better but right now obviously with dragon fist being on movies and trunks being a super saiyan unit it's not really <laughs> comparable in that sense people overrate ultra goji in the current meta he's top five at best not number two people overrate ultra goji i mean if you're over if you're saying someone's number two and he's in if you say someone's top five but he's not number two and people have him at number two it's not really that much of a difference if he's top five he's top five right so if people overrate him number two i consider him number two but if you're number two three four five i mean it's not that big of a difference so it's not really i do think he's number two especially him being you know blue unit goes destroys a bunch of uh, the red units right now um you know goes lock in type neutral he, he has just so much in his kit for him to not be like you know top three in the game so MUI should be nerfed, especially Zod. Yeah, good one, buddy. That's literally the whole point. <laughs> it should be nerfed. They're not gonna nerf units. They're gonna drop counters to the unit, just similarly to what they did with this cooler. He hard counters Ultra Super Video. They're not just gonna straight up nerf a character, especially its dodging abilities. I mean, bruh. Cooler is balanced unit like everything should be. Yeah, I can sense sarcasm when I see it. EX Turtles is the best unit in the game. Yeah, I agree. Hot take: Blue Hero Hercules is not toxic. He, he's kind of fun. I don't know why people hate him. What? Oh! What are you talking? This unit was literally created to annoy your, your opponent. He's literally the definition of a toxic character. Yeah. If you're, you're the problem. You're the, you're probably, oops. Like, like, you're probably using this character. <laughs> and you probably don't see why it's, it's toxic because you're too busy comboing your units are getting paralyzed all the time. He is the definition of a toxic unit. Like, there's no going ar around that. USV is in the top five unit because reds are dominating and he gets obliterated by cooler. Uh, USV will hard fall Kalkin. Yeah, it's not a, con a, a hot take. I mean, like I said before, um, many people have USV outside the top five. I mean, it's cooler just completely destroys him now. Uh, USV over USV, not a hot take. MUI c over cooler. What? Step up to start at 100, keep at 300 instead of 500. You all probably would have made a better banner unless you do it for festival. MUI over cooler. There's no way you said that. I agree with this. <laughs> the turf first two takes are bad. You're just biased because you like Goji anymore. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. A USG has been around for nearly forever and has remained a solid unit with a top 10 kit. Are we the best unit each only rival unit? All he needs is a pl What are you talking about? All he needs is a plat, and he'll literally be the best unit. Why would he need a plat? Okay, okay no, no, he's okay. He's talking about Yuji being better than Yuji. That I agree with. That I agree with. Um, and then where's the MUI thing? Cooler is heavily overrated. I can name on my hand the amount of times I sold a cooler with my blue. I can name on my hand the amount of times I sold a cooler with my blue free to play cooler. Or my oh did you know that type advantage exists what are you saying when mui have you can do the same thing to mui with free to play cooler m or usg what have options vanishing bane the opponent into a dodge straight up standing menacing or what are you do what are you saying unlike most i try to keep my opponent i keep my opponent opinions unbiased that's crazy anyway it's meant to be controversial not a fact definitely controversial and definitely wrong that makes it cooler literally shits on everyone you strike you land one strike card which isn't hard to do you land one strike card and it's over mui you're there's multiple ways of getting rid of mui go he's definitely obviously gonna be um hard to go up against he's annoying to go up against but you can quick attack you can go for taps there's so many ways to get rid of his um unique gauge but once you get him in that one card once you land that one strike card it's literally over this is not even a debate it's not close <laughs> Um, USG falling off, V, USG's falling off, I mean, okay, VB and MV are better than, VB and MV are better than, huh? <laughs> only thing keeping relevant, the, like, him relevant and the better blue Saiyan unit is the two ults, bar upgrade, thank god for LF Clue Kirby, no, but USG is falling off, VB and MV are better, man, <sighs> ah, dude, these are the kind of takes I was looking for, VB and MV are better, USG, despite being a Super Saiyan's unit, is still better than uh, those two. His damage is better. You can give the ultimate maybe to VB, but the you he has just way too much in his kit. 
He has lock in, neutral, all double ultimates, unlimited blue cards, destroys your hand, cancels nullify, um, cancels attribute upgrades, nullifies cover. He has way too much things. He has way too much. It's not even comparable. This, it's not even a debate. This is not even close. VB and MV are not better than UHG. <laughs> what the? Mr. Satan is the best aging unit in the game. You know, <laughs> You're, he's not wrong. Cooler is severely overrated. Only reason why he's rated very high is because he counters Super Saiyan when faced with a blue non-Super Saiyan unit like LF Majin. He gets walled and he's on the featured boost system as well. I love when people, I like when people bring up the fact that units are on the featured boost. Like, okay, we understand these units are on the featured boost. That's why we're talking about how they're performing right now when they have the boost. So stop bringing up the featured boost as if it changes anything. Right now, currently in the meta, he has the featured boost. Once he's out of the featured boost, then we can have a discussion on whether he's still uh, as good as he was. Like, so, there's no reason to bring this argument up. It just makes no sense. The two second lock is overrated. Oh my god. He can be easily countered by a strike cover change unit since he comes in and changes his entire head. It is actually weaker than. Oh my god. It is actually weaker than an actual lock. Well, yeah, of course, it's weaker than an actual lock. But you know, a lot of people have learned to drop combo now. And so many people actually drop combo with cooler that people are even predicting the drop combo so they don't even end up switching out. So it, it's. You're saying it's easily countered by a strike card, but most people can actually just drop combo. And then even above that, people can expect to drop combo. So, dude, two, two second lock is overrated. It is this. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's, re it's really not. <laughs> so chill, guys. Oh my god. That's crazy. USZ is still the best. What do you mean by still the best? The last time he was actually number one was <laughs> before, like, Kaioken Goku's release. Because once Kaioken Goku's release. You can argue that he was still number one even with Kaioken Goku's release, but he was getting kind of walled off by green, green, yellow. Um, but you can argue he was still number one. But once the droids dropped, the droids were number one. They were number one up until, like, I would say Super Vegeta's release where Super Vegeta was number one. And Super Vegeta was number one until Cooler's release, not Cooler's number one. Gogeta has been consistently number two for quite a while. So I don't know what you mean by still the best. Cooler is actually bad. Okay, okay, buddy. Uh, if you if you seriously think like not even trolling if you seriously think that cooler is a bad unit then you need to start uh playing the game a bit more often man ui sign goku is crazy underrated okay buddy he's not underrated if i have the time i'll literally pull up a clip of him getting one shot by anyone but dude, he does no damage he has no, no no defense his dodge is is good obviously that's the only thing he has going for him Long animation green card, he just doesn't he just doesn't do anything anymore. Doesn't do damage, doesn't tank. <laughs> Mid damage for C. That's literally it. Pretty much. DBL is a bad game. Why are you here then? That's that's not a hawk tape, that's the truth. If it's a bad game, just drop the game altogether. We don't need you here. See, so that's pretty much it for it. Um some a lot of comments here, a lot of takes that I agree with, a lot of takes that I don't think are controversial at all. And then a lot of takes that are just just insane, just crazy. So we got a pretty good mix there. Um so I think it's a good place to end it off here. So Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because that shit is so important. So don't forget. I don't know. Have a great day. See ya.